So hello and welcome all to this new series and also first video of the series where we'll go through Microsoft 65 topic. So I'll be doing weekly uh, videos in which I will discuss the Microsoft 365 topic. Today's topic is related to Microsoft list and specifically how to show or hide columns based on conditional formatting. Conditional formatting is a concept which has been introduced recently in list and has gained a lot of popularity for formatting list columns, views, coloring, text formatting, etc. Micro recently has added a lot of options around this, but I'll be showing today how to hide or show columns in forms based on other columns values. Uh, for this example, I have created a content scheduler list where I'm storing when to publish content for my YouTube videos. Um, so this is today's topic. And uh, so if you want to follow me uh, you can follow me on twitter linkedin uh, follow my blog and also uh, on youtube okay so let's dive into the to the actual uh, post okay yeah so here is the list um and if you want to learn how to create a list, you can go through my another blog, uh, which I will putting in the descriptions. OK, so this is the content scheduler I have created and it has already two items created uh, pre predefined. So I'm not going to show you how to add data. That's pretty basic. Um, so I have two items and my objective is to show column published link when the status is only is only when ready to publish or publish because the link is not ready in other cases you know very simple so basically this is a content scheduler where i schedule my contents to be published on youtube you know and uh, for example this one of the item has been published one of items has not been published so to do uh, to do the formatting based on columns um, either we can go to uh, to edit form of a list item or the new uh, so let's take the new, but the process remains the same. So you click on the new form and then click on edit form here and then click on edit columns. And then you will, when you hover on at the end, you will see the columns which you can put uh, conditional formatting. Uh, you cannot put conditional formatting all types of columns, which I call, which I will come later, but uh, you can put it on this particular column. So edit conditional formula. And the formula is already with me, so I will just uh, copy paste, but and then I'll explain what it is. So, so in this, you can see that the status is ready to publish or status is published, then only it will show up. Otherwise, the column will not show up. So this is a kind of a conditional formatting and you can see I have used equal to equal to and also or which means that you can use actually and or nor operator not operators you know um, also you need to understand that uh, whenever using uh, column names it has to be internal name in this case the column name and the internal name was same but in your case it might not be so you need to make sure that you use internal names in, in this okay so once i click save this is done and then you have to click save here also so right now you can see that uh, we have the we don't have the published link possible uh, shown here right so but if i select status as ready to publish and click somewhere else then you can see that published link is visible or if i go back to another status sign then it will be hidden right and then again, if I choose published, then you can see this comes up here automatically, right? So that is how you know it works. And the same behavior will be available for you in the in the edit or the new forms, actually. So you can see that I have this particular and I want to edit this item. And this is already published. So I have the published link available to me. But if I change it to, let's say, planned, then it will not show up here. So that is how it works. The same goes for the view form. Uh, and if I click on uh, view, open, 
So you can see this is available here, but if I change it, hit plant and let it save, then you can see this is written from here. So that is how it works, you know, so you can see. So good thing is that uh, the forms, all the C forms are working with the conditional formatting and uh, the, you need to make sure that uh, your logic suffice all three forms. So you're not just putting a logic which suffice only one form, which can be a problem. So that is how we need to do. And you can use multiple columns in this, or you know, use and or operators, a mix of those, and you know, create different types of uh, conditional formatting in this. And there are a lot of other conditional formatting, as you can see, that we have colors, you know, those which I have not discussed in this blog, which I'll be doing it later. But here, what I wanted to show is to how show or hide columns in the form, you know. Um, let's go back to the slide a bit and. There are certain limitations, uh, such as below column times cannot be used in conditional formatting, like personal columns with multiple selection, multiple choice column, time calculations, uh, currency columns, location columns, calculated and management error columns. But you can use a lot of other types of columns, which can, can be used pretty easily. And I'll all also quickly show you, um, another thing so i will bring up a screen here and you can see that other types of formattings and i'm just showing it from the docs microsoft.com so you can see here that we have category the flight cost number column date column you know how to do this you know uh, start date, end date, true, false, you know, uh, you can also see that we have, if start date is greater than this, then, you know, it's like this and personal column also can be used, uh, but mind it, it's not when it is multiple to be selected, you know, so that doesn't work, but single personal columns can be used and booleans also. So that is how there are different examples. But what I found with most of the blocks is that uh, they do not give examples for and or operator. Right? It was a bit difficult for me to find out how exactly it works, but, uh, and the ad, I was able to figure it out. Um, so that is how uh, you can, you can also have a look. So before this feature was added in SharePoint Online, we had to rely on Power Apps for our SPFX development, which I think was an overkill for such thing. But now this is available out of box and this really adds value to Microsoft, which I would say. So yeah, that's it. that's it in this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please reach out to me on Twitter, LinkedIn, or in YouTube comments. Please share the video and subscribe to the channel if you like it. So yeah, thank you. Thanks for today. Bye.